Hi, in this video I'll show you how easy it is to modify the Xtrify MZ1 wireless to your liking. But first, let's get over some specs so we know what we are dealing with here. The MZ1 wireless features the Pixar 3370 sensor which is a solid performer at 1000Hz. Not much to say about that. The main switches are KLGM 8.0s which were almost the most enthusiast starter pack switch for the past 2 years or so. I started to dislike these switches during this year like an angsty teenager disliking every mainstream thing but with this mouse I realized that they can be really nice if implemented well. The implementation with the MZ1 shell is, in my opinion, a really nice satisfying click with minimal post and pre-travel so nice job there Extrify. The weight of this mouse is 61 grams which is already really good but in a moment I'll show you how ridiculously easy it is to shave off a nice chunk of weight from this. The feet are PTFE feet and the mouse comes with additional pair which is a kind gesture from Extrify. Thank you for that. I have the black version which is a nice see-through color so you RGB heads can have a disco party while snorting G fuel. I'm going to change that however since I set my eyes on their purple top cover. Also the coating of this mouse to my skin is really slippery so I'm going to install their pre-cut laser skin grips to help with the issue. The mouse would not be an x product without some gimmicks and this mouse has two of them. Firstly you have two kinds of back shells to choose from. The new flatter hump may work better for people with smaller hands who like to fingertip grip and the OG butt is for rocket jump ninja style of fingertip grip and for me personally for claw grip. The higher hump for me with claw grip feels like a younger brother of the G303 shroud edition which I liked very much. Secondly, there's this weird weight balance adjusting rail thingy which you can basically adjust where the battery sits inside the mouse. Uh, we are going to remove that. So to recap, we are going to install some lizard skin grips, a new purple top cover and a lighter battery while also removing the gimmicky battery position adjusting thingy. Like always, we'll start with removing the feet and the screws you see at the bottom. I am not 100% sure if you need to remove the screws from the battery thingy to open this but you need to do that anyways at some point. Then you can pry the mouse open carefully. Please be aware of the ribbon cable and the battery cable while opening it and and deattach both. The battery cable can be stuck so take your time with it. The stock battery is 500 mAh which is huge. I guess you need that if you're going to use the MOX RGB power but since I'm not 13 years old I'm just going to turn all the lighting effects off. The new battery I'm gonna install is a 200 mAh one with the same kind of a 3 point JST connector. The stock battery weighs with the bracket around 12 grams and the new one is just 5 grams. So we get a nice 7 gram reduction in weight here. We are also going to remove the plastic diffuser which you can unclip with the flathead screwdriver very easily. With that we get a nice zero gram weight reduction according to my scale. Uh, I might need a new scale. We will attach the new battery with a double sided tape and position it to the center of the mouse. Then we'll just clip the connector in. It is a nice little package and the weight balance should be great. The top cover replacement is really simple. The stock one unclips really easily and then you just need to clip the new one starting from the front. Remove the plastic from the center first though. You also receive a set of mouse switch tensioning squares with different heights so you may need to change those from the new cover. Mine was a bit loose at first so I replaced them with the 0.7 mm height ones and they are perfect. Then you can assemble the mouse starting with the ribbon cable. I also tried to loop the scroll wheel a bit but I'm not sure if it made a huge difference. Before installing the screws it is wise to see if the mouse turns on first. Mine did so I proceeded with the screws. Then just install the hump of your choosing and screw it in. If you were careful with removing the skates you can reuse them since these have a solid thickness to them. After the mods the mouse weights approximately 53 grams and then you can install the grips if you want. 
the lizard skins came with nice instructions with plenty of pictures so an engineer like me can understand it also. After some nice hand washing I then proceeded with installing the grips. The end result looks and feels sporty and fresh in my opinion and now the mouse stays in my hand better. The grips added around 1 gram of weight but I think I can exchange one gram of weight to actually be able to grip the mouse. So this is how easy it is to mod the MZ1 wireless. And in my opinion, there is no reason to not to remove the weight adjusting bracket thingy because it is so unnecessary. All in all, the Xtrify MZ1 wireless has a really solid build quality and the clicks are one of the best stock clicks I've experienced. Sadly, the shape just doesn't work for me well. With the higher hump, clawing the mouse is possible, but then the scroll wheel sits too far forward and I really need that scroll wheel in Apex. Also, I hope the Xtrify uh, does the M8 treatment to the other wireless mice and remove the holes, the RGB and the unnecessary gimmicks from the mice and maybe release a pro series of mice this year. But yeah, that is it for the video. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing and liking the video. It really helps the channel a lot. So, see you on the next one. Goodbye.